Ketov. I'm Stephen Bendenun, and you are watching Israeli News Live, live right here from Jerusalem. Arut Shiva is reporting some very serious developments happening here in Jerusalem concerning the peace talks and the Pope's visit right here at the end of May, next month coming at the end of May. And the official report from the Vatican itself, off the Vatican's official note, they said after visiting Amman, Jordan, the Pope will be received by, quote unquote, the President of the State of Palestine. He will be received by the Phoenix Center, center not, not shortly after that, which is a re, uh, refugee camp called the Dehaisia, uh, and he will endorse the inalienable right of the millions of descendants of the Palestinian Arab refugees. It's reported that he is going to be pushing that they have a right to return to their homes of their grandparents and great-grandparents here in Jerusalem. It only, only gets, gets worse. Um, he is, says that the 1948 war that was here, the Independence War, was a tragedy against the Palestinian people. I'm only reminded of the prophecies written by Micah, the prophet from the Tanakh, the states here in verse 10, be in pain and labor to bring forth, O daughter of Zion, like a woman in travail. For now shalt thou go out of the city, and thou shalt dwell in the field, and thou shalt be, and thou shalt come to Babel, to Babylon. It's going to be the Vatican that causes this problem for Israel. We will be forced out of the city of Jerusalem. In a few moments when you see what we talk about next, about Abbas's new demands, you'll understand exactly why this is going to come to pass in a very, very soon future. Anyway, so let's continue on right here. He says here, uh, as a woman in travail, be in pain and labor to bring forth, O daughter of Zion, like a woman in travail, for now shalt thou go out of the city, and thou shalt dwell in the field, and thou shalt come to Babel. There shalt thou be rescued, and there the Lord shall redeem thee from the hand of thy enemies. And now many nations are gathered against thee that say, Let her be defiled, and let our eyes look upon Zion. Now keep in mind, this is the very reason why the disciples, when Yeshua was here on earth, expected to be delivered from the hands of the Romans. Clearly, because Micah had said this would happen. No wonder why it actually records here, where is your king? Because the king is not making it happen. As beloved as Benjamin Netanyahu is for us as a prime minister, he's not going to make it happen. Then the question is asked, has your counselor perished? The only one that can deliver us from the Romans had been crucified 2,000 years before. We move on and we find out though, as he said, that all the nations have come up against us here. Looking here again, it says, but they, they know uh, um, many nations are gathered against thee that say, let her be defiled and let our eyes look upon Zion, but they know not the thoughts of the Lord, neither do they understand his counsel. For he has gathered them as the sheaves to the threshing floor. Arise and thresh, O daughter of Zion, for I will make thy horn iron and I will make thy hooves brass and thou shalt beat in pieces many peoples. All we have to do is make a stand and God will deliver our people right here in Jerusalem. On to a little bit further news, speaking about Abbas. Abbas also reported by Giulio Miadi in the, in the, in the Jerusalem News. Um, very, very interesting article that he posted here. And I'd like to just share a little bit of this article with you. It's entitled, uh, Op-Ed, This is Not Peace, It is Pure Nazi Ideology. This is by... Uh, Giulio Miadi, he says uh, in an article here, Abbas tell the truth, but those listening pretend not to hear. Imagine if any political leader of the world say, no blacks would be allowed to live in, in, in my state. He would be denounced correctly as a racist and a bigot. That does not seem to include Muhammad Abbas, the Palestinian Arab leader of Ramallah, who on the verge of the new peace talks in Washington just declared in a final resolution 
we would not see the presence of a single Israeli civilian or soldier on our lands. This is not peace, but pure Nazism. It is ethnic cleansing, and instead of the expression of a final resolution, Abbas should have said what he really means, final solution. Addressing a session of Arab League in Doha, Qatar, Abbas in 2011 declared that when an independent Palestinian state with Jerusalem as its capital is established, we won't allow the presence of one Israeli in it. A Palestinian Arab state on Western Eretz, Israel would be uh, Judean or cleansed or Jews, a state founded on the ethnic cleansing of every single Jewish man, woman, and child. How can you call peace a deal in which hundreds of thousands of Jews surrendered to expulsion or to become refugees like lambs to the slaughter, Miata reports in the article here. Can you imagine if Benjamin Netanyahu, instead of Muhammad Abbas, would have pronounced such a statement? What would have been the world reaction? And Abbas said in front, on the long European uh, noses, he proclaimed his Nazi intention while in Cairo. Lady Ashton, the ridiculous EU foreign chief, was present. But we must thank Mr. Abbas because he said clearly that the state of Palestine and the Jewish presence in Judea and Samaria are exclusive. Israel would have to uproot all the Hebrew towns in order to pave the way for this peace, which is in fact the new apartheid that he hopes will come into existence upon the ruins of the settlers' homes. What Abbas said is the same message repeated from the Palestinian Arab mosque and streets. Uh, Idbach al-Yahud, slaughter the Jews. The article continues on. You can catch that article in Arut Shiva on their site there that Julia Miadi wrote there. An incredible Italian journalist from Italy that stands in support. Believe it or not, he's even a Christian. He stands in support of Israel and denounces the truth that what the Vatican is actually doing, the agenda of the Palestinians as well. You know, I thought to myself in, in looking at this article here, something my wife pointed out the other day as we were going into the, or coming back from the Arab quarter into the Jewish quarter. And you had to go through security, through metal detector, x-ray machine, checkpoints, guards, and everything to enter into the Jewish quarter. And she watched two young ladies as they just waltzed through a door into the Muslim quarter, the Arab quarter. And she said, isn't that strange? They have nothing to worry about. Jews are not coming to attack them or kill them. So there's no security needed by them for anyone to enter into their area. But the Jews have reason to be concerned for their own safety when it comes to the Muslims. I wanted to share with you one other prophetic word here. That's a good point for the Palestinians as well as for the Jewish people. What the Vatican is doing is not bringing peace, but they're bringing division. They're bringing anti-Semitic remarks. They're coming, when they come to Israel, when the Pope comes to Israel, he is going to be met in Israel by... Uh, to be met by the by the uh, the Grand Mufti of Jerusalem, and he intends to exalt the Muslim and Christian faith over the Jewish faith. He's basically setting a stage for the right, for replacement theologists that have a right to take the Temple Mount and claim it as their own, and to push all Jews out of Jerusalem. This is what he's actually coming to do. And it's kind of interesting because in the book of Ezekiel, Ezekiel the prophet makes a very interesting statement here in verse 10. And you shall know that I am the Lord because thou hast said these two nations and these two countries shall be mine and we will possess it. Though the Lord was there, therefore as I live, says the Lord God, I will do according to thy anger and according to thy envy which thou hast used out of thy hatred against them. And I will make myself known among them when I shall judge thee. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord and that I have heard all thy blasphemies which thou hast spoken against the mountains of Israel, saying, 
they are laid desolate, they are given us to consume. God is coming for judgment. You may come, Mr. Pope Francis, to Israel to exalt yourself as the Antichrist that you really are. But God will judge you, and He will topple you, and He will bring you down. I'm Stephen Bendenoon with Israeli News Live. Have a good day.